chosen vessels what's the deal it's your main man drew tube and i'm back at you again with another video you already know what's good i need every chosen vessel to hit that like button hit that share button and don't forget to subscribe all right we almost at uh 3k so yo we we, we uh we we uh we doing our thing you know but look listen i need everybody hit the like hit the share don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to the GCV. Salute to Drew Nation. And salute to the Galactic family. Let's get right into it, shall we? Let go of fear. Because if you hold on to it, it's going to become the main problem in your life. All right? Have you ever been afraid of something? Or been kind of like had a, a worry or a little fear about something? And whatever it was... It just kept happening and it's like you try to avoid it you try to not have to engage or not have to entertain what's causing that fear it's like you had something happen to you and you don't want it to happen again and because of what happened because of the people what they did or say you were at like a specific place where you worked or say that you were in a date you were in a relationship or you had a friend or this may have happened with someone that you knew say some people treated you bad not that you've never experienced that before as a chosen one or an empath dealing with narcissists and negative people in this world that we all encounter from time to time right Say you've developed a fear of those kind of people, right? Say because of all the people who mistreated you, of all the bad encounters with folks that you had, you started to develop a fear from the PTSD, from all the trauma bonds, all the people you didn't want anything to do with, but you had to work with them, all the people you didn't want anything to do with, but you had to see them at school or in class, all the people you didn't want anything to do with, but they was in your family. All the people you didn't want anything to do with, but you was you didn't know this person was, was switch on you and you didn't know that you weren't going to want anything to do with them. You thought this was the love of your life. You thought this was <laughs> you thought this was a really cool person. All right. If somebody tells you there, though, I thought you were the love of my life. If somebody says that to you, run. OK, um, look, listen, if you have dealt with people in the past and the experience was not good, you may fear those few having those same experiences but with different people, all right? So what that does is when you go into a new experience holding on to the same person, you're, you're going to be looking for those same character traits. You're going to be looking for those same problems in the world and in others. All right. So that's why fear is no good. It ha you have to let go of fear and you can't operate off of fear. Fear will have you accusing people. Fear will have you thinking that people are out to get you because of past experiences. And that will cause people to get you. That will cause the things that you don't want to happen to happen unfortunately right people acting like they're not paying attention to me but they full-blown watching it's probably waiting outside the whole time for me to pass their little spot just so they could just so they could catch me just so they could see your boy is that is that real all right when you're is that real when you got energy to spill okay so shall we so Fear of these things, it, it it draws them to you like a magnet, right? So your feeling and your energy is a magnet for the things that you want. So whether you actually want them or not, if you put energy, feeling, and you put thought behind it, you're creating those realities. You're drawing those people into your business into your reality to do the to do those dirty deeds to you and you're drawing those situations in your life for those dirty deeds to be done to you so fear is something that you should not be operating off of 
is something that you should want to eliminate in your life. Because if you don't, it's going to become your main problem. Because whatever you fear is going to happen. All right. If you hold on to that fear, it's going to happen. There are people who are afraid of planes. There are people who have been afraid of planes, collected news articles about plane crashes, and then when they get into a plane and that plane crashes and God forbid that person dies when they go into their house, they saw that this person had a fascination with plane crashes. Don't let your fears fascinate you. Whatever you become fascinated with, it's just like that fear because you're putting emotion behind it and you're putting energy behind it. And what is energy? Energy is emotion in mo or no, what is energy? Energy is what they say emotion is energy in motion. So if emotion is energy in motion, you have to be careful of the energy you put in motion. And if you put that fear energy in motion, that's not going to be good, folks. You can't put fear energy in motion. It's like hopping in a car of fear, right? Driving off of a cliff and then wanting to hit the reverse button on life. You can't do that. All right. So once you put that fear energy in motion, you're going to want to. That's that's the the one thing you can stop. All right. You can stop your fear. All right. That might not have been the best example, but you get what I'm saying. Right. Imagine if you couldn't do that. So but once you once the thing happens, once you once what you fear comes upon you, you can't reverse it. That's really what I'm saying. So that's why you don't fear, because after the situation happens, after the circumstance happens, after what you fear has come on you, come upon you, you can't reverse it after it has already happened. So before it happens, when you have time, all right, God always gives you time. All right. So you might as well reverse how you feel and what you're thinking before what you fear comes upon you. All right. Because that fear is going to be a magnet. If you fear somebody causing you some type of harm, that's a, that's a normal fear to have. If somebody, yes, I think people follow me. No, it's a different car, but I'm, uh, yeah, it's a different car. But um, fear is a magnet. So whatever you fear, whether you know it or not, you're drawing it into your life because you're putting that energy in motion. You're emotionalizing energy towards something negative. And that's not something that you need. If you don't want that, that negative, that negative result in your life, even if it's something that is scary, even if it's something that is, is, is a, 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 if it's something that a person would be afraid of, you're like, this is a logical thing for someone to fear. God gave you the spirit of courage, of love, and of a sound mind. You're not supposed to fear. There's not supposed to be anything that you fear. Things may be able to cause you harm. Things may be able to cause problems. All right. They may be something that could cause you to lose courage, but don't you fear it? Because when you fear it, you give power to it. Whatever you fear, whether it be a thing, a person, an animal, a place, or whatever you fear, you give power to it. So watch whatever you have fear of, you want to give that to God and you want to affirm courage in your life. You want to be able to see yourself doing the thing that you fear. There have been people who were afraid of swimming. And what the psychologist would do is this. Psychologists would see that person. They would, they would see who they were meant to see, whoever their patient or their client was. They would talk to them. Their client would tell them, hey, I'm, a fair, I'm afraid of swimming. I fear swimming. When I was a kid, I drowned. I screamed for help. And I was unconscious and I woke up. I, I, I drowned before somebody could save me. Luckily, my friend was there or someone was there. And they saved me. And because of that, because of the last thing I remember, 
is going underwater screaming for, for help, gasping for air. That's why I have a fear of swimming because I have an image engraved and impressed in my subconscious mind about me drowning. And that's the last thing I remember before I got into the water. So when people have fears like that, what the psychologist will do is they'll sit you down, hypnotize you. They'll have you calm down, relax, because that's a traumatic experience that you have just replayed in your mind after you have expressed that to the psychologist or explained that to the doctor. And what, he'll, what, what he or she will tell you to do now is to see yourself in your mind reliving that experience. They'll tell you to either go down by some water or they'll tell you to just sit in your room and visualize, see yourself in your mind's eye doing the thing that you fear. And since this person was afraid of swimming because they had drowned, the psychologist told him or her to see him or herself swimming. So once you see yourself doing something in your mind, whether you know it or not, your mind can't tell the difference whether you're actually living that experience in real time or whether you're experiencing that just in your mind. Your mind can't tell the difference. So that's one way that a psychologist will help you get rid of your fear. So you can actually see yourself in your mind doing with full-blown courage whatever you're afraid of, and your mind will register that as an actual, real, authentic, in-life experience. Your brain can't tell the difference. That's why this is the matrix. You'll have certain realities in your mind play through when you haven't gone over certain things or when you haven't let go of certain fears. It'll be a, a traumatic experience that'll replay in your mind and you'll have a that's so raven moment of your PTSD experience and you'll, it'll, it'll all play out in your mind. But for that split second, for those few moments in time, you were actually reliving that experience and you felt like you was there. We've had that experience with negative experiences and we've had that experience with positive experiences. But in this particular case, getting rid of fear, you're gonna wanna use that just as a reminder that whatever you see through in your mind, you could actually replay and feel it and actually have it play out in your life, like a, in your mind, like it actually played out in your life. So with that being said, you're going to want to go into your mind and redo all the experiences that give you fear. Whatever you're afraid of, you're gonna to wanna to see yourself mastering that fear and tackling that fear. When that fear comes into your mind, don't worry about it. Don't let it give you anxiety. What you tell yourself is, I am mastering this fear. I have mastered this fear. I am mastering this fear. I have mastered this fear. Not I will master this, I have ma I mastered this fear. I am mastering this fear. And sooner or later, what your mind will do is your mind will draw certain experiences and certain energies, certain thought processes, it will bring out of you, all right? Creative intelligence will bring out of you whatever is necessary for you to conquer. Yeah, woo, 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 what up, pup? Career, you know, infinite intelligence will bring out of you whatever you need to master that fear. And since God is good, he created that ability in us. He created that power within us. All we have to do is be obedient and tap in. So whatever you're afraid of, whether you're, if you have anxiety, social anxiety, being around people, if you, if you have a hard time being around people, you have to figure out what is causing you to have that anxiety. It's probably some type of fear. Maybe you were made fun of when you were growing up. Maybe people were so hard on you, they criticized your every move and they made you hate yourself. So now when you get around people because they criticized everything you did, now you hate yourself. You think you can't do this right. You think you don't do this good. You think you can't do that right. You think you don't do that good. What you need to do is see yourself 
doing things good in your mind's eye. And whenever you don't feel that you do something good, you need to affirm to yourself, I do this good. I am good at this. Maybe you have a, a speaking fear. Maybe you're afraid of speaking in public because you're, you're afraid of how people will look at you or how people will think you sound. Maybe you sound like you don't think you should. Maybe you look a certain way that you don't think you sound. Maybe you grew up in an area where it's not a lot of people who look like you that grow up there. Maybe you don't sound like how people who look like you think you should sound. Maybe you have a fear of, maybe you have woo, 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 back to you. Maybe you have a fear of how people perceive you because, well, you know, I'm not this or I'm not that, but I look like this particular group of people. Will I be accepted? That's a valid fear. Everybody wants to be accepted. Everybody wants to be liked. Everybody wants to be loved. But what you have to do is let go of that fear and you have to have courage because however you accept yourself, however you think about yourself is how people are going to think about you. So before anybody else can accept you, you have to let go of that fear of how you think people are going to perceive you. Excuse me. And you got to accept yourself. You have to have love for yourself. You can't let any of that get in the way. All right. You can't let that fear get in the way. You have to tell that fear to get out the way because I guarantee you that fear is holding you back from some great gift that you have. I guarantee that fear is holding you back from stepping into your greatness and becoming what God has put you here to be. So you have to eliminate that fear and you got to stop being afraid because that fear is holding you back. It's no good. All right. There, there are fears that are valid, like going out to a bad place and thinking somebody's going to do you some harm. Well, if there's a bad place and there are people who harm people in that area, it's not good for you to go out to that area. You're not going to want to go there. That's just common sense. You don't go to certain places after dark because if you go there, you could potentially get put in danger because the people are out there have a lack of something which is causing them to act a certain way. All right. So it would be wise for you to not go there. That's a valid fear. You know, they talk about this place. They say don't go there because if you go there at a certain time, it's not good for you. That's a valid fear. That's a valid fear to have. That's common sense. All right. We're not talking about stuff like that. You, we're not telling you to go out into the heart of hell. We're not telling you to put yourself in the, in the depths of hell and be like, I'm safe. <laughs> That's not what we're telling you to do. All right. Even though when Daniel was in the lion's den, he was still protected. All right. When Jonah was in, got swallowed by the whale, he was still protected. All right. God will protect you and never neglect you. But you don't want to just voluntarily put yourself in harm's way because you're making your angels work extra hard and and your angels want to be like you. They want they want their yoke to be easy and their burden to be light. So you don't want to go making it hard for your angels to do their due diligence and have your back. But for you to live a full life, for you to have a happy life and not a crappy life, you're going to want to let go of that fear. You're not going to want to care about how people perceive you. Your only, your only care and your only focus is how God sees you and how God perceives you. How God sees you outweighs how anybody else will see you. It don't matter how other people view you because you have God in your life. It don't matter how other people view you because you're focused on God's love. You ain't worried about love from other people. Other people can take their love and shove it somewhere, all right? Because a lot of love from other people is just fake. You do something good for people, they love you. You do something bad, now they hate you. It's like they don't like you unless you please them and do what they want you to do or you make them happy. So that's why you don't even need to focus on, you don't even need to have fear about how other people perceive you or you don't need to have fear about anything. That's a valid fear, all right? I mean, that's an invalid fear, all right? So you don't want to just, you don't want to just be afraid of living your life. You don't want to be afraid of taking a shot, shoot, playing basketball. You don't want to be afraid of how, you play. You don't want to be afraid. You don't want to be afraid of how people say um, you perform. All right. So if you sing, if you speak, if you act, you want to see yourself doing it good. You don't want to see yourself on stage being afraid because that fear is going to come upon you. If you're afraid you're going to mess up and that's the energy you put out before your performance. I'm sorry, sister or brother, you gonna mess up. Excuse me, y'all. 
It's nothing that is going to be able to prevent you from doing your best in your own mind, except for negative thoughts. Your thoughts are the only thing that can stop you from performing or doing your best. Your thoughts are the only thing that's gonna keep you afraid when you're supposed to be encouraged, when you're supposed to have courage. You're supposed to be encouraged. God gave you the spirit of love, the spirit of courage, and the spirit of a sound mind. He didn't give you the spirit of fear. So those fear thoughts, you have to eliminate those and you have to let that go. Anything that's stopping you from having courage, you have to go within your mind and eliminate that fear. You weren't born to be afraid. You don't have to be afraid. Fear is something that is either normal or it's abnormal. The normal fears are right? fear of danger, fear of, of sound, fear of animals, fear of harm. That's normal fear. But just being afraid of just simple stuff like everyday stuff, like interacting with people, that's nothing to be afraid of. What's going to happen to you as far as your situation and your circumstances, that's nothing to be afraid of. People lose their faith and people don't have faith in God and they, they lack faith in God. And now because they lack faith in God, now they got all these types of fears that are unnecessary. You're afraid of how people perceive you. You're afraid of what people think of you. You're afraid of what people have to say about you. You're afraid of being your best self. You're afraid of going out and having courage. You're afraid of talking to this person or talking to that person. Or you're afraid of being the person that you were put here to be. That's an invalid fear. That's not a fear that you need. That's an abnormal fear, all right? That's not something that you need to have a, have a fear of, all right? Abnormal fears are things that you can't fix, all right? When you go out into a pitch black area at night, you're going to have that fear. When you go out into the jungle and you hear the animals, you're going to have that fear. You're going to protect yourself. You're going to combat that fear with the courage that God put in you. But there are certain fears uh, that you just can't get around. But the fears that you can get around are the things that you could change in your mind. Or you can't change the fact that there's a, a, there's animals and wolves and bears and lions and tigers. You can't change that. That's called the wilderness. That's called nature. All right. So the one thing that you have to realize is that when you go out into the world and when you fear certain things happening to you from certain people or when you fear certain things happening to you because the type of person that you are. All right, if you fear certain things that happen to you because of something someone said, oh, you know they're no good, or you know that's not safe, or you know you shouldn't be doing that, or you know that's dangerous, those are the, those are people who actually possibly care about you, but you have to be careful that they don't smother you with care because it's some love that will smother you from trying in life. It's certain things that will smother you from being your greatest version. It's certain things that will smother you and keep you from living a full, fulfilled life. And if fear is stopping you from living a full, fulfilled life, that fear has you. You want you want to be able to have those fears and get rid of them. You don't want those fears to have you and tear you to pieces. So the one thing you have to do is just work on your courage. Whatever you're afraid of, whether it's, it's, whether it's uh, speaking in public, whether you sing and it's singing, you're afraid of how people are going to take your talent. Don't be afraid of how people take your talent perfect your talent to something to where you are comfortable and confident in any area that you're afraid of that's not a normal fear you can gain confidence you can become confident all right anything that you're afraid of if it's a person if it's a, a, a dog barking that dog is going to bite you because of your own fear that dog has bit you because of what's in you all right there are certain things that you're afraid of that you that you pull to you because of that fear magnet because you put some energy behind it you put some energy and motion behind that fear and just like the bible says the thing i have feared has come upon me you are now like job because what you feared has come upon you that's why you got to let go of those fears because whatever you fear is going to happen into your experience you're going to experience that in one way or another so get rid of those fears so that way you don't experience fear so that way you experience love you experience courage you experience having a sound mind. When you let go of fear, you have a better overall experience. You treat people better and people treat you better. You're not going to be around people thinking this one's going to do this or that one's going to do this or this person's going to judge me. This person's going to laugh at me. This person's going to hate me. Yes, you may have had experiences like that with other people, but not everybody, not everybody is like that. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to work on yourself so that way you don't go out into the world because there may have been some evil people 
around you that played sick tri tricks and games on you that tried to make you have a different perception, a negative perception that the world is a bad, evil place, even though it is. It's not all like that and not everybody is out to get you. It might have been just some people like that in your upbringing or maybe some of your friends or maybe some of the people you went to school with or lived around or worked with or were in a relationship with. Not everybody else is like that. So just because you had some bad experiences with people, you need to let go of that resentment, let go of that hurt, let go of that person, let go of, of the event, and you need to move on and ask God to free you and heal you so you can have a blessed life and a full life. All right, I'd like to thank everybody for watching this video. All right, I don't need to make this any longer than I did. I need everybody to smash that like button, smash that share button, and don't forget to subscribe for more live, helpful, and not hurtful and better and not bitter content. Shout out to the GCVs, shout out to uh, the Galactic family and salute the Drew Nation. I'll see everybody in the next video. Hit that like button, hit that share button and don't forget to subscribe for routine maintenance and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.